Hi, welcome to my tutorial today on teleporting AI. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. I'm not going to go into too long of an intro. Um, what it's going to look like is basically this. So I have set up super speed and where the AI will walk around in random locations. Okay, and then once we, as you can see, once we run towards them, they will teleport. So they'll teleport to a random location and both of them will do this. Um, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. It's pretty cool looking. Um, if you're interested in how I did the super speed with the contrails, uh, check out my one node ability system on the Unreal Marketplace. So with that said, let's get into this. Okay, so with the teleporter AI, now I've already made the logic, so I'm just going to show you how it works so you can do it yourself without having to watch me connect nodes for 10 minutes. Okay, so the first thing I did was on begin play, I put a timer to run a walk around event every one second with a do once. So it'll only, so it won't run every second, it'll run once and then do it again when it's successful. Okay, so the way this works is I just made a custom event with a timer on begin play. And after doing once, it will AI move to. So this is the AI move to node right here, right here. And for the pawn itself, for the destination, I'm using a bounding box. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically just like an invisible box, essentially, that has locations in it that you can use. Um, so the, the center is the where it starts, like the middle of it. And I'm just using the actor location, which is this guy right here. And then the half size is how far will they be able to tell or move to. So I'm doing 600 on the Y or 600 on the X. Somewhere in there, they will move to that location. Okay, and it'll be random, so... You don't have to set like path points or anything. Okay, so now for the actual uh, the actual teleporting logic, the first thing you need to do is you need to go up here and add a box collision, a box glider, and scale it up to be pretty big. Um, and then once you once you have that, once you have the box glider, I would rename and I name mine trigger teleportation. So once you have it renamed and added and everything, make sure you go down to the collision and you set it to custom. And then you set everything to ignore except the pawn, because we don't want it like triggering the box collision whenever you know it's touching the ground or something. That's just unnecessary. We only want it when it's triggering a pawn. If you have your own collision channels, you can put them down here as well. Um, so with that said, let's get into the actual uh, blueprints of it. Okay, so we have on component begin overlap of the trigger teleportation. The first thing we do is we check if it's overlapping the player character. Now, normally what you would see other people do or what you might do is you might cast a third person or third person character, right? And then you would run off of there um, by doing this. However, I don't want to do that because that creates a hard reference to the uh, third person character. So if you have a big character script, it'll, it'll add a bunch in there. So just doing this with overlapping in the player character with a branch check is easier and more efficient. It'll also keep your blueprint file size down. Okay, so with that, the next thing we do is we teleport the AI to a new random location. So like above, we're using a random point in a bounding box just because I don't want to use a nav mesh because um, some games can't have nav meshes in every area. So, um, so we set the actor location and then the new location is a random point in bounding box. So if you look at random point in bounding box, that's the node I'm using. So we get the actor location as the middle, and then for the teleport distance, I made that a variable, and I made it 1500 by 1500, okay? And that will make it on the X and Y axis, so left and right and forward. And then in order to make it have that particle, the explosion effect, I just spawned a simple Niagara particle effect um, after they teleport. So with that said, this is what it looks like, okay? So they'll teleport around, it'll drop some smoke, and that's basically how it goes. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. I make a lot of superpower and niche tutorials like this. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.